All right, this is a take -o zone valve. Uh, this would control a zone of water for a hot water boiler. Uh, how this works is you have a screw that's one, two, and three. This is non-powered right now, and these alligator clips are not powered off of this transformer quite yet. One is the 24-volt hot coming in. Two is the common for the path back All right, to complete the circuit. What this does is it heats up a little heating element in there, and it presses on the valve here, which then opens this, this up to water flow. Once it's opened it up, it hits a little micro switch inside and presses that in. What it does is it closes this end switch, number three, with number two. All right, so when it closes this switch right here, uh, that's going to go ahead and tell either the control board or the aquastat relay to go ahead and turn the circulating pump on. Uh, you don't want the circulating pump running without water flowing through here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment here um, in order to prove uh, how this works. All right. So I want to make sure that these two are not touching with the alligator clips, and and there's not they're not right now. All right. I'm going to take a multimeter and I'm going to connect the leads on to two and three. I'm also going to go ahead and pour some water inside here. All right, once again, nothing is powered right now. I'm not pouring it onto uh, live electrical or anything like that. Absolutely not. We're just going to go ahead and fill this up. All right, that's that. So there's no water on the electrical contacts or anything. Everything's fine. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn our multimeter onto uh, continuity so it'll make a beeping noise uh, when two and three are connected so let's give it a little trial here it should take somewhere around uh, 20 30 seconds for this thing to go ahead and open and for the then after it for the end switch to close all right you should see that the cardboard down here gets soaking wet when the water falls through this pipe down down this bottom piece right here this this is just the multimeter probe these wires are not sitting on the cardboard we should be fine all right, we're going to go ahead and turn this transformer on, power the 24-volt hot uh, in, and have the common come out, okay? These zone valves are rated at 0.9 amps for 24 volts, okay? We're going to turn this on. All right, so right now we have 24 volts going from 1 through to 2, powering the heating element, okay? So if we count it down and we give ourselves just a little bit of time, uh, that sh the water should fall through. And then after that, shortly after that, is when we should see that this reads 0, 0.0 um, resistance. And the continuity beeper should go ahead and make some noise on this thing. All right. So it is full of water right now, and the water should just go ahead and fall through. And if you're timing that, that should be pretty darn soon. Not quite yet, not quite yet, but should be soon. We can also, in the meanwhile, read voltage going to, oh, there it goes right there. Okay, so there's the water flowing down onto the cardboard down here, and there is the end switch closing. All right. I'm just going to turn this down to resistance, so we'll see the 0.0, .0 but it won't make the noise. Now with this multimeter, we have, we can check uh, for voltage right now, from screw one to screw two, and that one says 26.85. Anything higher than 24 volts is good. All right, so that's how it works. And just so you know, on the inside of here, you have. This is upside down right now from what this lo normally looks like. Okay, it looks like this. One, two, and three. All right, and inside here is that little plunger right here. I don't know if you can hear that clicking noise as it comes down, but it's actually pressing this little white micro switch in. Okay, but what it's doing is it's pushing it, pushing it, and opening the valve. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. See you next time at AC Service Tech.